Minecraft 1.19 hasn't been the most well-received Minecraft update, with many players complaining that there is a lack of promised features. The main argument is that it just doesn't feel as wild anymore, with some even coining it 1.19, the mild update. This certainly isn't the first time Minecraft updates were delayed or cancelled, with most of the big cave and generation changes in 1.17 being pushed back half a year to 1.18. As it turns out, there are a lot of Minecraft updates which were forgotten about, indefinitely delayed, or seemingly cancelled. What happened to archaeology? What happened to bundles and the fletching table? What happened to fallen trees? A friends list? Red dragons? Season? Spike blocks? And of course, the dirt slab. Well, I think we all know what happened to that one. Today, we're going to be discussing what happens to these 12 updates. Originally planned for Minecraft 1.17, the Caves and Cliffs update, players could find these excavation sites around their Minecraft world, small little wool tents, that would contain brushes. Archaeology, it was cold, and there was also dig sites, which honestly looked quite cool, and using the brushes, you could clear away rubble and have the chance to get rare items, or artifacts, as they were called. In the original showcase video, it was mentioned you could get these ceramic shards, which were supposedly how whoever lived here used to tell and pass on their stories. You could also put these ceramic shards on a clay pot, another new item we never really got any info about, but it seems they were entirely cosmetic. Anyways, besides that, we don't really know much else about this, although I can tell you that it looks extremely extremely boring and monotonous to use the brush. When Mojang would announce they were splitting Caves and Cliffs into two updates, they mentioned that archaeology would be postponed even later, after Caves and Cliffs, mentioning that since it's a completely new system, they wanted to ensure it was fun. When Caves and Cliffs Part 2, or 1.18, was released, it was stated that archaeology had been put on hold, not cancelled, and that they would be implementing it when they felt comfortable with it. And that's where it is now. If I had to guess, I would say that they felt that using the brush wasn't very fun, and that the novelty of archaeology would have worn off very fast, leading to another mostly pointless structure in a Minecraft world, and as such, delayed it to improve its gameplay. The most controversial Minecraft update of all time involved combat, and in 2019, Jeb set out to rectify issues surrounding the changes in his own combat test experimental snapshots. Before we continue though, make sure to hit that subscribe button for me. There's no hit delay on the subscribe button, so you can spam click it to your heart's desire and help me get to 400k. No pressure, of course. Anyway, since June 2019, we've had 9 combat snapshots only released on Reddit, not in the launcher, detailing various changes to combat, with the last being Combat Test 8C. I won't go through all of them, but basically in Combat Test 8C, there is no attack cooldown, you can hold left click to auto attack, yes, that's right, they literally added an auto clicker to the game. Axes have less reach than swords, but they always disable shields, and shields in general are much weaker, only blocking 2.5 hearts of damage and 50% of knockback instead of all of it. So clearly Jeb is trying to bridge the gap between 1.9 and 1.8 combat here, and include the best of both worlds. That being said, the combat snapshots were being released nice and consistently through 2019 and 2020, but the last combat test we got was in August of 2020, and it's almost been two years now with basically radio silence. So what happened? Well, comments on Reddit indicate that Jeb and Mojang likely redirected their focus to 1.17 and will continue to work on it after. But I guess with all the 1.17 and 1.18 delays and splits, Jeb just never got back to it. Minecraft's combat snapshots are also still stuck in 1.16, so it may still be some time before Jeb returns to them. Back in 2018, during Minecon's biome vote, the savannah and desert would lose to the tiger biome, which would receive an update in 2019 during 1.14. However, unlike the previous mob vote, of which the losing features would never see the light of day, here's a video about that if you're curious, the vote would instead determine which biome would be implemented first, with the losers being implemented later. Deserts were promised to be given palm trees, oases, and a new mob, the meerkat, whereas savannah would be given baobab trees, ostriches, and termites, which conceptually looked like somebody combined two Minecraft crosshairs together using Microsoft Paint in five minutes. Almost four years later, however, and the only update we've got about these two biomes was in in 2019, where we were reassured they hadn't been forgotten, with neither being mentioned in the up-and-coming 1.19 either. This upset players because biome revamps would be very fitting of the wild update theme, especially so because deserts and savannas are the most barren biomes of them all. Interestingly, in the 2019 biome vote, which Mountains won, the runner-up being the swamp is being updated in 1.19, but the badlands is still unannounced. Why did the 2019 runner-up receive an update first over the 2018 runner-up? Guess we don't know. Dirt Slabs. Yep, that's right. Back in 2009, before Stone Slabs were introduced, Notch decided to create a developer version of the game with Dirt Slabs instead. 
understandably, they looked like shit, especially so because they generated in the sides of cliffs, leading to this. However, we've since come full circle, and the game now has a lot of new slabs, with players now wondering if we'll ever get proper dirt or grass slabs in the game at some point. Players theorize that with the new archaeology brush, seemingly able to reduce the height of blocks, dirt slabs or similar may finally be obtainable, but it was confirmed that this was only an animation. Seems we won't be getting dirt slabs anytime soon. The fletching table was added back in 1.14, with its only use being the Fletcher Village's job site block. They also make note blocks produce some nice base. Anyways, back during 1.14 snapshots in early 2019, Mojang stated they would get functionality in the next major themed update. Four major themed updates later, and they still haven't, and that number will soon be five, as there is no sign of it getting functionality in 1.19 either. So, was it cancelled? Well, I along with some others believe its functionality may have been tied to the combat update, evident by combat related art on its block design. Specifically, the bow and crossbow, which is supported by the target as well as the Fletcher Village's many bow and arrow related trades. But since information surrounding the combat update is almost as dead as Mindplex, it may be some time until we find out what its real purpose is, or if it's ever going to get one. Here's a cancelled update I guarantee you've never heard of, and that's the Red Dragon. Way back in 2010, during Minecraft's secret update number 8, Notch revealed that he would be adding dragons to the game. He would later mention dragons again during Minecon 2010, then again on Twitter after adding the Ender Dragon in 2011. But now stating that they were going to be slightly less dangerous and could land on terrain and wouldn't destroy it. He even said this on Reddit as well. Then in 2012, Jeb confirmed in a Reddit post that he would add red dragons but was unsure how. So he then contacted the developer of the beta 1.7.3 dragons mod and added these astonishing creatures to the game. Oh, they look a bit dopey, the big ones, don't they? Look at them. Reef. Oh. Just kidding. Later in 2013, Dinnerbone tweeted that the Red Dragon is shelved and not in development. Oh. Like, oh. Like but then, two months later, publicly stated that the Red Dragon will be implemented at some point. Oh. They could be like hippos, don't they? Sure they will. I'm starting to sense a trend here. Bundles were another feature of Minecraft 1.17, which have been indefinitely delayed. This is probably for the best though, because bundles in the state they were teased weren't going to address the issue they were added to the game to improve, which was to reduce inventory clutter, but instead would just add to the clutter, as I pointed out in my much-loved Minecraft 1.17 video years ago now. Now, not only will you have shulker boxes all over the place with a bunch of random stuff in them, but we'll also have unorganized and unsorted items within bundles within shulker boxes as well. How fun! I honestly think that the version of bundles we saw will never make it into the game. And trust me, that's a good thing. It doesn't seem like they were cancelled, however. Just delayed, like archaeology. A friends list is something a lot of players have wanted for a while, and is a feature that Bedrock and even Minecraft China has. Back in 2011, Notch mentioned on his blog that a friends list would be added after beta 1.8. This wouldn't happen, surprise surprise, but throughout 2011 and 2012, there was still word that a friends list would eventually be added. But then since 2012, we got nothing besides this sorry excuse for a friend's menu we got in 1.16.4, which virtually nobody uses. That being said, many custom clients and even servers like my own, og-network.net, have friends plugins or implementations to make up for it. But it still would be nice, Mojang. Come on. Arguably the most mythical mob to grace Minecraft since Herobrine, the giant is actually one of the few features in this video that is in the game and has been for a long time. But also for a long time, it has been non-functional, as there is only one version of the game which giants have been able to spawn naturally and without commands, and that's an unreleased developer version, known as indev 201 dev Since then, the only way to spawn giants was through mods and later in-game commands, but that wouldn't even matter, as in 2014, during 1.8, the AI for giants was removed, rendering them virtually useless as they couldn't move or do anything. And that's what they remain like for years, until unexpectedly in a Minecraft 1.14 snapshot released December 2018, they got a bunch of stealth changes. They were given a zombie AI, could attack players and move twice as fast as zombies, meaning they could actually outrun players now, and they could also finally burn in the sunlight. After nine long years, it seemed giants would finally be properly implemented into Minecraft. One month later in another snapshot, all those changes were reverted, and the giant once more became the big, useless, and unmoving mob it had been for the past five years. We haven't received any word of the giant officially from Mojang or any developers, so I think it's safe to assume that after almost 12 years, the giant may never find its place in Minecraft, and has been cancelled. Why is that though? Well, it's probably because the scale of giants makes them hard to implement in a Minecraft world, as they would likely have trouble pathfinding due to their massive hitbox. Besides that, maybe Mojang just decided they don't fit the theme of the game now that we have proper bosses. 
when you think of Minecraft, gravity isn't one of the first things that comes to your mind unless you have severe gravel-induced PTSD. Fallen trees were proposed by Dinnerbone on Twitter in 2014, who attached this image. Whether trees would actually fall, or this is just a unique way they could generate, was never mentioned, but it's likely it would be the latter. Interestingly though, this is actually a feature which exists in Bedrock Edition, and fallen trees can even rarely grow from saplings. Fallen trees would be a great addition to the wild update, and would be a nice source of variation to find when exploring through forests, so it's very confusing as to why they haven't been added to Java for all this time. In a similar fashion, seasons are a cool feature of the game, which Dinnerbone mentioned he was experimenting with during 2013, and were even mentioned in Minecon during that same year. Depending on the season, there was potentially going to be varying day and night lengths, and changes in the colour of tree leaves as well. But alas, it never came to be, and was seemingly cancelled. This is another feature of the game which would fit nicely into the wild update, as it would make the environment feel so much more dynamic and alive. Finally, back in 2009, Notch mentioned in a blog post they were thinking of adding spikes and they were going to be in beta 1.7. They would extend and retract as well, supposedly. These were instead replaced by sticky pistons and seemingly normal pistons. Dinnerbone would later mention on Twitter that he wanted to add spike blocks, but was unsure about how to go about it. Technically though, we do have some form of spike in the game now, being pointed dripstone, which is cool. And that's that. Want a part 2 with a bunch of other obscure planned or mentioned updates and features that never saw the light of day? Be sure to let me know in the comments. Make sure to subscribe and help me get to 400k. Thank you all so much for watching.